This is your old friend RJ City, and this is the Hollywood Squared Circle, where we talk about wrestling episodes of non-wrestling shows, and today we are talking about The Weird Al Show, Season 1, Episode 13, entitled Al Gets Robbed. For those of you who don't know, The Weird Al Show ran on CBS from 1997 to 1997, with just one season of 13 episodes, so yeah, this was their finale. It's basically Weird Al's version of Pee-wee's Playhouse, and it also starred Billy West, who was also the voice of Doug Funny and Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy, Eddie Deason, Donovan Freeberg, Stan Freeberg, Judy Tenuta, and this episode also stars Dick Van Patten, Gilbert Gottfried, and musical guest All for One. But the one wrestler in it is Randy fucking Savage. Here's what happens. Al discovers his house has been robbed and the whole place is completely bare. And he's like, well, this sucks. How am I going to have a nice time now that I've been robbed? But all of a sudden, the wall busts open Kool-Aid Man style and Randy Savage is standing there in full WCW black and white madness gear. And he's like, hey, you getting a little robbery get you down? Don't be a crybaby. Get creative. How about a wrestling match? And then Weird Al is like, oh yeah, let's do this. And then there's a wide shot that shows that a blue mat has been placed in the middle of the floor, classic apartment wrestling style. And Al and Randy are shit talking each other and circling like they're gonna lock up. But then Al grabs Harvey the Wonder Hamster and he's like, all right, Harvey, go get him. But then Savage is like, what the fuck? But then Randy Savage drops a fucking elbow on a hamster. All right, at that point, it's clearly a fake hamster, but I just want everyone to appreciate that this elbow is so stiff and so on point that if it was a real hamster, it would have been instantly killed. And then they cut to one long reaction shot of Al as all these cartoonish fighting sound effects are heard in the background, and Al's like, stop it, stop it, he can't take anymore. And then they cut back to the mat, and Randy is on his stomach, and Harvey's on his back, and Randy is in tremendous pain, and he's like, I can't take it anymore, and he gives up. I guess Harvey was just clawing his back? Yes, Randy Savage sold for a hamster. So Al grabs Harvey off of Randy and Randy gets up and he's all in pain and he's like, oh, I want a rematch next time that hamster's going down. And Al's like, yeah, 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 whatever. And then Randy just wanders off through the hole in the wall he enters through, which Al doesn't seem to be that mad about at all. The show is all over the place and not very good. It's obvious that Weird Al and CBS were at odds over what constituted entertainment. But this segment is delightful, the elbow drop is flawless, and two years later they would completely rip off this joke for the Randy Savage episode of Mad About You. For shame, Paul Reiser. So that was the wrestling episode of The Weird Al Show. This has been the Hollywood Squared Circle, and I've completely wasted your time. Guests of the RJ City Show, subscribe to his channel, follow him on social media, and buy his t-shirts at prowrestlingtees.com slash rjcity.